When a Catholic priest becomes a bishop today, it's usually because he was appointed by the Pope. The Pope is free to select anyone he chooses when it comes to the appointments of most Latin Rite bishops. Though he has given plenty of advice from church leaders, from the local diocese to the Congregation for Bishops at the Vatican, the Pope typically makes the final call, and he's not required to select a candidate who has been recommended to him. It's one of the many actions that fall under modern-day papal authority. This isn't how bishops were always chosen. Throughout the history of the church, bishops have been selected in a variety of ways. What we are presenting in this production is just a general outline, since the topic of bishop appointments is so wide-ranging and complex. In the early centuries of the church, bishops evolved as leaders of a group of churches, later known as a diocese. It was a vote among laymen and clergy in those churches in many regions that determined the nominations and elections of bishops. Early popes denounced any effort to seat a bishop without popular consent. They believed elections kept dishonorable men from becoming bishops. In those days, the laity were more involved in bishop elections, either by proposing candidates or accepting a given nominee. But as time passed, the laity took less of a role in bishop elections, while the participation of the privileged kings and clergy grew. By the 13th century, popes were given the right to confirm elected bishops, but that wasn't accepted everywhere. Then, in 1870, the First Vatican Council granted the Pope jurisdiction throughout the Church, giving him alone the ability to nominate most Latin Rite bishops. The centralization of Church authority was codified in the 1917 Code of Canon Law, granting papal rights in the appointment of most bishops. It's important to note there are some places in the world where bishops are still elected, and that practice continues in most Eastern Catholic churches. Hey!